This video is going to show you how to take an AMI and attach that new AMI to the auto scaling group. So any new machine that is coming up as part of auto scaling will have the changes that you have on your machine. First of all, log into Amazon console, look for EC2. Uh, you should have an auto scaling group already existing for that. Uh, in my case, it is AK app. Uh, go to edit, select that. Make sure that's the only one selected. Go to edit, right? And we're going to do a suspend processes addition here. So if you see the suspend processes, there is nothing here. That's how that's how it's supposed to be with the default auto scaling group when it is in an active. So we're going to disable the auto scaling group. So when we are taking an AMI and the machine will get rebooted, it will not delete that machine or it will not terminate or it will not relaunch a new, new machine during this pass because it's, this is a part of maintenance, right? So go to suspend processes, launch. We do not want to launch anything. We do not want to terminate the instances. We do not want to do a health check. We do not want to do a replace unhealthy and we do not want the schedule action pretty much you can add it other other things as well but this is this this five are important one save your changes right so this will make sure if the instances are getting rebooted during while the ami is being taken you it will not terminate that machine because it's not healthy so it will not do that check so let's go to the instance now and take an AMI. You can take an AMI on any of the machine as long as both the both the machines have the changes. So the last AMI I called as uh, called it as AK app v5. Now this one right click AMI create AMI. I'm gonna call it as a v6 so I know what version I'm running on. AK v6 uh, create image and boom, it's creating a new image right click on it so you can see what is going on it's it may take some time depending on the disk size so while that is happening close while this is happening uh, it's creating a machine it might be rebooting the machine and all those things going on uh, I am going to go to again to launch configuration under auto scaling group this is my active uh, auto scaling group. This is my last active. If you look and take a look at this one and launch configuration. So it is a launch configuration that is to be used while launching a new machine. That setup is AK app v2. So I'm going to look at AK app v2 and take a copy of it. Copy launch configuration. Only select that one. Copy launch configuration. So it's going to give all the option about what that kind of launch configuration setup are. So this is the AMI that is being built up. So this is the new AMI that I'm going to replace that with. So copy paste it here and press enter. Make sure you're pressing enter and then this will change. This is V6 now. Select that. Make sure you select that. And yes, I want to continue with AK V6. Next. Keep everything default, whatever it is. Make sure to change AK app v6 now. Right, uh, I am roll. Keep this one. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, keep it for now. All right, add storage. You don't have to change anything else. Make sure this is the same. 22, 9. All right. Create launch configuration, make sure the string, uh, the key pair is CKF1 and click on this and create launch configuration. So it's going to create a new launch configuration called AKF v6 close. Click on the close. So we have two launch configuration, one with the old AMI and the new one is with the new AMI. Let's check what's going on with the new AMI. It is done. Okay, so the AMI is done. Make sure the status is available. It was pending earlier. Now, Go to auto scaling group again, AK app v1, AK app. This is what we're going to change now. This is the launch configuration that we, we changed and added the AMI. So we're going to map that to a new launch configuration, v5 to v6. That is all. So with this auto scaling group, we're going to use the AK app v6 configuration, which has a new AMI now.
038 whatever it is 038 v6 okay and we are all good with it so make sure that instances are healthy here that is fine and just double check the lower balancer as well to be on a safer side Sir, we don't have no, we don't need 80 here let me delete this this is not needed i forgot to remove 80. 443 it's healthy healthy good all right and the last step is the reverse of what we did in the first step go to auto scaling group right and aka app go to edit we have to remove this now the stuff that we had initially remember those things so that it will be enabled back again the maintenance is over so it will keep doing a health check now so if now onwards if any instance is not healthy it will replace it or it will launch a new machine depending on our scaling criteria that we have set up here all right and you can see the activity if the new machine gets launched you can see this status here uh, make sure to do some cleanup here uh, if the new um, the old AMI make sure I've, I've just deleted the 3 4 before starting this video so but just keep the two set up here v5 v6 if you're doing a 7 Roman right uh, again next time make sure to remove the v5 so that we have we do not grow up that is pretty much thank you